Girls, so I'm actually here editing for you guys, but I did want to tell you guys this video is going to be kind of struggle, really, honestly, to put together for whatever reason. The meat and potatoes of this video got not to struggle, really, honestly. I think I'm going to try to just like narrate through this and let you guys know. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. So Erica here with another video. So this is more of a chit chat video. I wanted to come to you guys and give you guys a little bit of an update and also just share my experience and some of the things that I've been going through um, and hope that it really helps you guys and really brings some things into perspective. These past couple months have been really a roller coaster ride of emotion and emotional um, attachments and just emotional situations for me and that has been one of the reasons why I, I really haven't been making videos as much as I want to. It's been like isolating myself from everyone and everything and just kind of getting it focused. I feel like everybody around me, including myself, is um, right now just like getting into focus and really just trying to figure everything out. Um, and yeah, like I said, I am no different than anybody else. That is basically all I've been doing. So like I said, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that back maybe about six months ago, I quit my corporate job to um, pursue my line. I've had my line for two years now. It's called ETA Lux. And I felt like I was at a point where I could, you know, um, live off of my line, quit, live off my line and really just in essence but I felt like it was a time for me to really bring into perspective what I wanted for myself and I wasn't happy at my corporate job and so because of that I decided to move on and do my own thing um, but you know I want to say that owning a business or even making a move like that is what everybody would say is like having a child I don't have kids so I don't know what it's like but, you know, when you talk about people who've had kids in the past, they always say, like, you're never prepared for it. And, you know, no, no time is ever the right time. And I have to agree with really being a business owner. Um, a couple things that I may have taken for granted or really didn't think about, um, you guys can see in my other video with my friend Fatima Farmer. Um, we did a, a collab video on some things you should or should not know before quitting your job. Um, so you guys can reference that. But also, just a couple things that I've been going through too is just mental and emotional health, guys. Like, I never thought... I guess the best way to say this is when I was younger, I honestly knew. I've always known for, you know, my whole life that I was going to be successful and I was going to be successful in my own right and I really did from a young age have an ideology of what I wanted that success to really be and um, I think what I've noticed with a lot of other people here on YouTube, friends that I know, like we all thought that by a certain time we were going to be able to achieve those goals. And um, I definitely thought that by 25, which is how old I am right now, I would be, you know, the old owner of a Fortune 500 fashion company. It's like, you know, um, very profitable and a lot. Of, it's a household name. It's more of a lifestyle 360 brand, which are all the things that I still want. I also thought that I was going to be married and have kids and in my mind 25 was just so old so one of the things that I've really had to just come to terms with is that life is in essence its own entity and you are not going to be able to control all the things that happen in your life you can definitely manifest your goals and um, you can have you can be goal oriented and really push forth for the things that you want in your life and nobody else ever no matter what anybody says to you, nobody ever is going to be able to take that away from you. But at the same time, you need to be flexible. You need to be more like water, be able to transition and go into every environment, open, honest, and just free-flowing. And I think that for me, that was one of the things that I kind of did not think about. I was living off of my savings and my the money that I was getting in little by little 
from the designs that I were do was that I was uh, doing for private clients and um, that was great but in every business you're gonna have your high points and you're also gonna have your low points and I think that's something that I didn't even factor in I just factored like I just thought that by quitting my job and by putting myself out there that you never know what can happen and that's great thinking but um, in hindsight I probably would let me not lie I would do it exactly the way that I did it but I would have prepared myself for other possibilities and other outcomes now I'm basically starting over.